Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I, I thank the Honorable Parliamentary Secretary. Um, and she mentioned, mentioned that uh, residential schools were designed uh, in, in large part to erase Indigenous cultures. Um, and I would argue they were also designed to erase Indigenous peoples themselves. And I point to Dr. Peter Bryce's infamous, infamous report, A National Crime. Um, so when I think about justice, I think about the fact that we have survivors who are still alive, that there will be perpetrators who are also still alive. What is this government doing to uh, bring those people um, to justice? Thank you very much. The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. And, and uh, you know, I, I'd, I'd like to quote uh, a survivor of residential schools, the member for Northwest Territory, uh, when he said, there is a lot of work to be done. I've been waiting for a long time to get this going. We have some momentum now, and I want to see it keep going. I know the, the Honourable Member, um, I think we're all want to see where we move forward. Um, I will leave it to authorities. Any kinds of charges that would be laid would be done by the provincial government, not by the federal government. Um, and I think the honorable member probably knows that, but it's up to provincial governments to lay charges in cases like this. So thank you.